Yes, sir. This is what buzzards get to look at all day long, every day of their lives. Wouldn't that be a job? This is the Arkansas-Oklahoma state line. This used to be the boundary instead of Arkansas-Oklahoma, it used to be the boundary between the United States and the Choctaw Nation. Let's see what this one says. Survey, General Land Office, Oklahoma, Arkansas state line. This one says 1935. All right, we're gonna have to throw an eyeball on this. The bridge just washed out. Half of it's gone. Now this is a rough road. I found a dirt road that runs off through the government woods and down towards uh, Lake Washita. We're up on the north side of it here. We'll run down here and see what this road's all about. Horseshoe Bend Road. This is liable to be it right here. I think it is. It's got a stop sign. I'm gonna say this is it. Talk about a scary slab of concrete. That had absolutely <laughs> no curbing at all on that slab of concrete. You are on your own. Here's another one. It's got little curb. I see the curbs have been knocked off of them. That one's still got a piece of curbing on it. Don't need no curbing, no stinking curbing. This is what we're after, a little shade. Show me the shady spots. Here's another one of these little bridges with no uh, <laughs> no curbing. I'm going to say the road grader might have had something to do with that over the years. You can see where the rebar used to stick up and into the curbing. But that's been drug off. Ooh, need to keep moving, get some air on me. And then we're gonna go right on this road. We got pavement here. Good place to get run over. I see the lake over here. Maybe we'll get a little better view of it down here. It's a lot bigger. There was a little uh, access down to it right there. Yeah. This was the access road. I could see right down to the water on this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this isn't muddy. Doesn't appear to be too muddy. But it does have some roots. Let's see what we got here. People have been camping here. 
and a view of the lake and the mountains over there. Don't mind the beer cans. All right, we'll get come back when we've got something to see. It's a new day here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We're going to take the Mighty Tiger for a little tour. We're in downtown at the Promenade, they call it. It's Bathhouse Row where all the old Victorian bathhouses sit down in the old part of Hot Springs. So there are uh, uh, mineral springs that come out of this mountain and there's a big row of uh, bath houses built down here mo hotels and whatnot back in the victorian days the uh, late 1800s early 1900s so we'll go take a look at all of that but right now there's a mountain on either side of town that you can get up on top of and get a really beautiful view of uh, the area so we're going to do that even though we're in right in the middle of hot springs Arkansas we're kind of out in the woods here on this mountain there's nothing up here this is all state park it's pretty up here this old uh, rock work and this little road they built way back when it's really nice I don't know when this was built but it's been a day or it's been a day or two it's got cobbled rock cobbled curbing on it it's really pretty ditch there is all cobbled rock I believe there's a tower up here you can climb the tower and really get a view I'm not a big a big fan of towers but we'll take a look at it I might be able to talk myself into it it is getting a little bit cooler up here it's starting to get warm down there waiting in traffic it's, it's nice here no traffic. Hot Springs Mountain Tower. Observation Tower parking. Let's go do that. Ooh, that is a tower. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes, look at that. We're up, up on the very top. They got open air viewing up here on the very top of the center. Kind of get a view off of this thing. Some beautiful country out here. A little breezy up here. So here we got a view down on Spring Street. Some of the old hotels, the big one down there. I can't think of the name of it, but been there a long time. Really pretty bathhouse row over here. And way out here in the distance, we can see Lake Wachita where we were the other day. So here's a shot of bathhouse row down through here. Heading down into uh, Hot Springs. So we'll move off the mountain. We got another mountain on the other side of the uh, of the other side of the street over there. There's a mountain on the other side we can go up. Ooh, now that's a switchback right there. No doubt about that. Here's a serious turnaround right here. And another one to match it. Got to have a matched pair. They always come in sets. All right, we've made it back down here. Here's some of the old, uh, older hotels from back in the day. That one there has been there for a while. Got the old wrought iron work all over it. That's pretty cool. This old hotel here is really neat. Bill Clinton worked in this one when he was in 
high school. So this is the touristy part of town right here. This is where they come to uh, bathhouse rows right down here, all the bathhouses. Come soak in the mineral water. These are the bathhouses over here from the Victorian days. Uh, they're still here. People still come to soak in limey water. All right, we'll see if we can get up on the west side, the mountain on the west side. I've not been up on this one either, so it's all new to me. West Mountain, Hot Springs National Park. I believe we're here. We'll go to the summit. All right, there's that old hotel we went by, the big one. And then there's the tower we were up on earlier. That is pretty nice. Without a doubt. Got a few pics there. Got to see the uh, pretty good shot of that old hotel that Bill Clinton worked in back when he was a kid. I think they've got a little park down there named the Bill Clinton Park, State Park or City Park, I don't remember which. This will be the big view here. We're right on top. We don't get no higher than this. Well, I tell you what, I'm not impressed. They're not keeping the brush cut where you can see where you can see the views. Kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, it looks about like it did off of that tower. Not quite as good, but and a lot of trees that need to be cut. Well, we got a nice view of some trees that need to be cut so we could see off the mountain here. I'm not a big fan of that. They build all this and then they let the timber grow up. You can't use it. Back to civilization, just as quick as that. There's an old church from back in the day right there. Brickwork on it, Whittington. Uh, that's pretty cool. Looks like they're still using it. Uh, this may be Central Avenue again. Looks like it. Yeah. Maybe we can find that parking spot that eluded us earlier. There's one right over there. That bad boy is mine now, I own it. All right, we're gonna get the camera out and take a walk. We're on Bathhouse Row here, taking a walk. Get a look at some of these old uh, bathhouses and businesses from back in the day. Got quite a few of them down through here. This is a pretty cool old bathhouse here. It's got the uh, the big old awning with the the hand rock chain uh, supporting it. That was pretty common back in uh, the Victorian era. That is an elaborate old building right there. I'm 
want to give this place a try. Burgers, shakes, hot dogs. How bad could it be? Well, folks, I appreciate you all hanging out with me here in the Wachita National Forest at our uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas base camp. Uh, we had a pretty good time there uh, running around in the forest and checking out things to see here in the area. I hope you saw something you liked. I invite you to come back and see me. We'll go somewhere and do something else. Till I catch up with you again, you all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time. <music>